Hello students. Now today we are going to proceed with our topic and today first of all we will start with how does the sound propagates or how does the sound travel ok. So, today we are going to start with how does sound propagates or how does sound travel. So, we will write the heading how does sound travels. Okay. So, how does sound travel you know uh, when we talk about light children uh, sunlight is available on the surface of the earth in between there is no medium ok there is nothing, but still uh, light reaches on the surface of the earth you know because light does not need any kind of medium to travel, but when we talk about sound ok sound needs medium to travel sound cannot travel without a medium ok. So, how can we prove can we prove this that sound needs medium to travel or without the medium sound cannot travel we cannot hear anything if medium is not there ok. So, first of all I am saying sound needs medium to travel I am saying sound needs medium to travel without medium sound cannot travel we cannot hear sound if medium is absent if medium is not there ok. But then what is the meaning of medium what do we mean by medium is not it until unless we know what is medium how can we understand this sentence that sound cannot travel without medium is not it. So, before we proceed before we try to prove before we talk about few experiments to say that sound needs medium to travel we need to talk about what is medium. So, children what do you mean by medium or what is the meaning of medium. So, what is medium? Medium is anything which supports the sound through which the sound passes ok that is medium like uh, when we talk about uh, now I will talk about few experiments also ok, but before that just I will write the definition of medium. So, what is the meaning of medium the thing which propagates the uh, which allows the sound to move through it ok. Now, all matter like matter exists in what matter exists in different states is not it what is matter anything which occupies space has mass is not it ha is known as what matter ok. So, all matter allows sound to travel through them ok. Matter exists in how many forms it can be solid it can be liquid it can be gas even it can be plasma state is not it. So, matter allows the sound to travel and all these states ok all these states of the matter allows the sound to travel the travel through them ok. So, what I am saying matter allows sound to travel and in a simpler way forget about the matter ok solids liquids gases ok all three states even plasma these all states allows the sound to travel through them ok. So, there is no uh, problem like the sound does not come to us ok it will travel because wherever we are we have sound we have we have sound means why do we have sound children because medium is easily available either solids are there liquids are ga there gases are there, but what if all these are not there what if vacuum is there. So, we will just have a look on few of the experiments which will prove if vacuum is there that means what there is no medium. 
because when vacuum is there that means air is removed is not it. So, does sound travel in that state also? So, we will just have a look on this ok. So, we will write the definition of medium over here. The substance through which sound travels ok substance through which sound travels ok any substance through which sound is traveling is known as medium ok the substance through which sound travels is called as medium. Okay. Now, which kind of substance can support the travel of like can support the sound? So, uh, that is the reason <laughs> that is the reason I will write over here that all forms of matter ok matter exists in different forms and all the forms of matter allows the sound to travel through them ok. So, what is matter children? Anything which occupies space has got mass is not it is matter. Matter exists in different forms may be solid, liquid, gas is not it and sound can travel in all these states ok. Sound can travel in all these states. So, we will proceed with all forms of matter supports sound ok all forms of matter supports sound. So, from this experiment what is uh, do, do you feel that now we need to talk about some experiment. So, that we can prove this two lines that the substance through which sound travel is called as medium and all forms of matter support sound is not it. So, now we will talk about few experiments to prove that how sound can travel from one end of one part to another part through one uh, you know one medium to the uh, another ok. So, we will talk about that now for this first of all we will talk about a small experiment now this is a part of a wooden table ok. If you know if we just scratch or just try to knock very slightly ok very slightly like this on the table it will be sometimes difficult to hear you know it sometimes is difficult to hear you know what has to be done if you put your if you just lean down on the table ok you just put your head on the table or your ear on the table uh, when I say you have to put your ear on the table does not mean you have to cut your ear and put on the table it means when you lie like you know just put your head on the table. So, you will be able to listen properly and then if you make a smallest sound with just in a stretched hand ok what has to be done children I am talking about a table wooden table at the at one corner you are sitting and you are sitting on a chair and your head is on the table ok on one corner of the table. Now, you can ask any of your friend to just scratch you know scratch means just to touch and just to knock the with this like you know the slightest uh, way. So, he has to just knock and you will be able to hear that knock you will be able to hear that even though you are sitting on the next corner of the table. What does this proves children that sound travels where in solids sound can travel in solids ok. What we have done what I am talking about like I am talking about a table 
you are sitting at one corner your head is on the table your ear okay that this side this way and from the other side if someone you know just knocks very slightly then also you will be able to hear sound so what is what is happening children sound travel from the sand to that and through what solid this proves that sound travels through solid okay this proves that sound travels through solid all forms of matter support sound here i can write you know solid liquid gas okay so we have discussed we have discussed one and we know now that uh, sound can travel through what through solids okay now we'll talk about some other experiment which can prove either this or something better than this okay now suppose if we make uh, you might have uh, heard about the toy telephone how it has to be prepared children just we have to take two glasses disposable glasses okay we have to take two disposable glasses and we have to tie them see this is one disposable glass and this is the another disposable glass now it has to be tied in this way okay it has to be tied in this way now if you ask your friend to be on one end and you are there on the another end okay and if your friend speaks you know very slightly if he just whispers then too you will be able to hear what he has said you will be able to hear what he is saying okay why does it happen children because when he says from here the sound is traveling sound is traveling from this what thread sound is traveling through this thread and again what is proved children that sound can travel in solids okay again i'm uh, i'll just explain what we have to do we have to take two disposable glasses okay two disposable glasses have to be taken now these glasses has to be tied in this way okay the broader end of both the glasses are opposite on the opposite side and one string uh, the cotton huh? okay i'm talking about cotton thread has to be taken has to be you know just a small hole has to be made in the glass okay on, in both the glasses and the thread will come out from the hole it has to be knotted over here okay with the help of a knot it has to be tied and here also with the help of a knot it has to be tied okay now our telephone is ready if now you have taken one end and the other is given to your friend now if your friend speaks you know very softly very smoothly then also you will be able to hear his whisper sound because sound can travel through this solid okay sound is traveling through this so this uh, cotton string this solid string isn't it so again it is proved that sound travels through what solids now if i do something you know something very interesting if i uh, you know wet this or uh, i'll just drop i'll uh, put lot of water on this cotton string only on the cotton string okay so what will happen children now the medium is what if the medium is changed now it has become what liquid isn't it like solid is there but again the liquid it is totally wet now now if you speak to your surprise now also you will be able to hear the whisper okay not very uh, sharp not as sharp as you heard it before but still you will be able to hear the sound okay now third thing what we can do now we'll cut the thread from the any point okay we'll cut the thread from any point and then we will tie a knot okay means we will cut it and then again we will tie a knot that means we will join the thread again now now if you talk 
now what will happen children you won't be able to hear you won't be able to hear because there has like what is there an obstacle has come over there which does not allow the sound to travel because it is broken here isn't it so continuation is not there and so now sound cannot travel here isn't it okay now i will repeat what i have said see three circumstances i'm talking about first of all we'll take the glasses we'll tie it children okay tie it means what a straight and you know a straight cotton uh, string which should not have any kind of knot in between okay now it is tied here and here also okay and then if one person speak speaks on from one end it is audible on the other okay this is a first circumstance circumstances now what is the second one children that if we put lot of water over here if we put lot of water over here then what will happen again you will find that you can you can hear the sound why you can hear the sound because now again the medium is there isn't it medium is changed but still medium is there okay now the third stage now in the third stage what has to be done children now it has to be broken it has to be broken and again a knot has to be tied okay it has to be broken and then knot has to be tied now you will find that you are not uh, you know you, are, you won't be able to hear anything your friend if he says anything you won't be able to hear why because now the medium is like it's not a Uh, uh, like in a medium is not available in between it is broken so again what is what it proves that sound need what medium to travel it will travel through solid again when it was wet it has proved that it will travel through liquid also okay but it won't travel when medium is not there because it was broken from the uh, from any one of the point okay and the sound was not reaching okay so again what is proved will write also again it is proved that sound needs medium to travel and sound cannot travel if medium is not available okay now i'll talk about the third experiment and then we will write all these okay so what is a third experiment now we'll talk about the third experiment okay now in this experiment what has to be done just a balloon has to be taken okay and in this balloon what we have to do we have to fill it with air okay it has to be filled with air okay when you fill the balloon or when you blow the balloon then you have to keep one end on your ear okay this side you will be listening this side you have kept near your ears and you have to scratch it from the opposite side okay you just have to scratch it from the opposite side and you will be able to hear this through what from here okay what has to be done we will take a balloon it has to be blown and one end has to be kept on the ear and from the other side like this end is near the ear and from this opposite side we we'll just have to scratch okay with the nails so what uh, what will uh, be the case will you be able to hear the sound or you won't be you will be able to hear the sound what does it proves that again through air also the sound can pass okay that means through gas okay the sound can pass through the gases also understood okay now little we'll make a change in the balloon what we will do we'll take a balloon again we will uh, talk about we are talking about balloon itself but now this time air will be replaced by water this time we will not fill it with air rather we will fill it with water okay we are going to put water in this now we will see what happens okay again same thing we will do one end is one end has to be one end has to be kept near your ear and from the other side okay like 
this end is near the ear and this side ok from this side we have to scratch it again we will find that we are like you know that scratch is audible we can hear that scratch why and how can we hear that scratch because water is there again the sound is passing through the, the through the liquid ok sound is passing through the liquid ok so these all experiments prove that it can travel through solid through liquid and through gas even ok now we'll talk about one more experiment now what will you do we will take a big vessel ok maybe a glass vessel if it is possible or whatever it is now we will keep a see you all might have seen uh, the toy which makes sound when it, when it, when it is squeezed ok when it is pressed ok you might have seen these kind of toys you know maybe doll maybe dog when it is pressed then it makes noise ok so what has to be done this kind of a toy has to be taken and it has to be wrapped in a polythene ok it has to be covered in a it has to be wrapped in a polythene ok and then this toy has to be dropped what is there inside here we have water ok this is a pot this is water and this is polythene bag ok this is poly bag and here the toy is kept ok here the toy is kept now what has to be done our pot has to be taken it has to be filled with water then a toy has to be taken which kind of a toy has to be taken which on squeezing makes produces sound which when pressed it gives a sound ok so this kind of a toy has to be kept in the polythene and this polythene has to be put uh, or dropped into water ok now what has to be done now in the water ok you have to squeeze the you have to uh, you have to press the toy ok as soon as you press the toy and you have to keep your ear near this ok near this you have to just no, bend down little bit nearby the beaker so that you can hear properly you will find that now also uh, sound will reach you that means you can hear the squeeze of the uh, the you know the sound of the toy ok when it is squeezed the sound of the toy will you will be able to hear it will reach you is not it what does it prove children again it proves that sound can travel through liquids sound can travel through liquids you know children very interesting thing like you know uh, this uh, sea animals ok they have a very you know they can pass messages to each other very strongly why does uh, uh, why is it possible whatever sound is produced you know it reaches immediately to the uh, their to their community how does it how it becomes possible children only because the sound can travel in liquid just imagine if sound does not travel in liquid uh, can these sea organism would be in, would have been in condition to communicate with each other they could not have is not it why they are able to communicate with each other because what is happening when they produce any kind of sound as liquid is also a good medium through which the sound can pass so the sound passes with a speed ok and it reaches to the other members ok so what is proved through all these experiments that sound can travel through solids liquids and gases too ok now we will discuss I uh, will write little bit about this and then after this we will discuss we have proved all this thing ok that uh, it is travelling through solid it is travelling through liquid it is travelling through gas ok but we have still not proved that 
sound travels uh, with medium it cannot travel without medium okay it cannot travel in the vacuum when i said here that the rope is broken okay that solid uh, string cotton string is broken okay the medium is broken still the, it is not like that that the vacuum is created isn't it so still the thing has proved we have proved the thing halfway isn't it we have proved that things like the sound can travel in solids and liquids and gases but still it has to be proved that sound cannot travel in vacuum okay so we'll just discuss a bit about this okay so whatever experiments we have discussed will have to you know just in two two lines we'll just write so that it remains you know like yeah we have seen it is there okay when uh, even you will write it once so what will happen you won't be uh, you know at, at the time of exams it comes in our mind okay yeah we have written this so it becomes easy to understand and to learn also to keep the things in the mind also so we just finish up this experiments so what was the first experiment uh, experiment which we discussed about it was about the sound travels in the solid for this what we have discussed that we we will take a wooden table okay at one end at one end one person will keep the head okay ears means he should put the head that means he should be able to hear while on the other the another person the another person produces okay produces okay on the other what i have written we will take a wooden table at one end one person will keep the head okay while on the other other means what other end okay while on the other the another person another person i have not written the another person okay the another person will knock okay the another person will knock very slowly okay very slowly okay so what will be the result now the result is the sound will be heard by the first person what is the result the sound will be heard by the first person okay so on a table if one person is keeping the head from the other end if another person knocks it very softly very gently then also the first person the one who has kept his head on the table will be able to hear the sound what does it prove children it proves that sound can travel through solids okay what does it proves sound travels through solids okay now we'll talk about the second example what was our second exper uh, experiment it was what was our second example it was about the telephone toy isn't it so a telephone toy okay a telephone toy has to be prepared 
okay now there is no need to tell how the telephone tower has to be prepared because just now we have discussed okay one end is taken by one person and the other end by another person okay the second end by the another person okay now here we have done three observations in first case what will happen children we will be able to like when the cup was taken one child was on one side and the another child was on the another side and when one spoke the other was able to hear that isn't it so so both the person can hear each other isn't it both the person can hear each other this was the first result okay now what was the second result in this student what did uh, we discuss then we dropped the string into the water okay when cotton string was dipped into water okay when that strip was that string was dipped into water was uh, what was the condition of the sound again that time also it was quite audible okay so when cotton string was dipped into water after that also okay after that also sound was reaching okay after that also sound was reaching means what was happening when the string was dipped into water now what is the medium children now the medium is water but still the sound is there the sound is audible we can hear the sound what is proved here till here it is proved that that sound travels in solid here what is proved children that sound travels in the liquids okay so here sound travels in solid okay and here what was proved sound travels in liquid okay again what is proved here sound travel in solid okay and sound travels in liquid in the lower end it is proved okay and when it was broken okay third when the string was broken then there was no sound okay that means without medium sound is not uh, it's not possible for us to hear okay so when the string was broken and was tied again okay was broken and tied again sound didn't reach okay sound didn't reach okay i hope now these two experiments are very clear what is the first one children that on a table at one end one the we have kept a head okay and on the other end one person just knocks very softly but still the one who is sitting there with the head uh, you know on the table will be able to hear the sound okay it proves that sound travels in solid 
now we'll talk about the second experiment what is given over here when a telephone okay which kind of telephone was made children when a toy telephone was made okay when toy telephone was made children and what was used cotton string was used to tie both the disposable cups okay then if we speak from one end any one of the end okay the other person can hear that means it was audible the person was audible okay this was the first part of this then it was the string was dipped into the water but that time also sound was audible in third case the string was broken and then tied again but in this case sound didn't reach to the person okay these are the two experiments now we will talk about the third experiment and the fourth experiment okay sir check kiya maine abhi 